this is SMR here. And we're going to burn at the guy uh, Bruno X Mail Reader. So this is uh, going to be a short story of Bruno Matigar and Tony Rinkashe. Rinkashe Rin Matigara. So you guys go. Hope you guys enjoy and see you guys soon. So let's go short story for one of the mats share by as you can see, so here's your uh, boy. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's get going. Bruno. So sorry, looking for this fiance. Bruno. So sorry, looking for his fiance somewhere in the house. Where are you? So sorry, search your house for Bruno and his son, Pedro. Pedro was born two, three years ago, but Bruno got attached to Pedro. He did not leave his side, even if he tried. I'm right here, said Bruno, walking out of the wall. Bruno, he's just three days old, said I to Bruno. I know, but I wasn't sure where I was living, said Bruno. All right, said I to Bruno. Um, sorry, yeah. Can we have another? Said Bruno. I'd like he just said one million dollars. Sure, maybe when Pedro is a little older. Said Tony to Bruno. Thank you, said Pedro. Walking we'll to the living area. Come on, Tony, said Bruno. Tell you, Tony, I'll follow him. Where are we going? Living area. I want to show where me and you usually sit. To tell Bruno walkers to the living area. All right, so tell me. To Bruno, follow Bruno to the living area. I love you, Bruno. I love you too. So Bruno walking to the living area. I better walk to the living area. It was the living area. And saw baby Pedro and Bruno's arms. May I see him? Said Bella. Want to see her grandson? Tell her she can say yes. And Pedro gave her a signal to Bruno to let Bella see her three day old grandchild. Bruno brought her Pedro to Bella and Bella took Bruno, son of Pedro, into her arms. Just like your father, said Br oh, Bella while looking at Pedro. He just looks like him, his name sounds like him, said Bella. That's what we wanted, said Bruno. My up uh, down at oh, Bella. To give you something to remind you of Pedro, said so I to smile to oh, Bella. Thank you, said Bella, smiling at all your grandsons. I love him, said Bella, recalling memories of Pedro over her. Now with Barry Pedro in her life, she'll have more memories with him. I understand, said Tori. Walking, say bye, Bella. There's just someone you love. And then find a new love in your life. It's different for you, isn't it? Satori to Bella. Yeah, yes. Samir Bella watches Pedro opens his eyes and closes. Pedro opens his eyes and closes them. No matter what, Bella. Pedro is always in the house with us, watching his grandchildren grow up, and watching you be who you are. Satori to Bella. Thank you, Toy, said Bella. Watch his pretty baby Pedro. Grab once, grab onto something. Bella moves her finger and lets Pedro grab it. See? He knows that you're here with him. Toy, for baby Pedro, knowing that his grandmother was there for him. Bella smiles, watching him interact, watching her 
while she interacts with her. Then Maribel walked in. Hey, it's baby Pedro. I was looking for him. Maribel, can you go? Can you come back a little bit later? So tell me. Oh, right. I'm asking you to him. All right. So Maribel, right out of the room. Thanks, Maribel. So Bruno, everything Tito's. Don't worry. We want you to get used to him before. Yeah, the others get to interact with them. Thank you, Sabella. You're welcome. Okay, I'm used to like you from the start. With a first experience. So today, I watch this page of smile up at Bella. Bella looked down on baby Pedro and was all that cute baby smile. I guess you're right, Sabella. Smiley down, oh, down that hairy little boy, my little grandson. Pedro was loving the warmth of her, his grandmother. No matter what, he wanted his grandmother to be there for him every step of the way. And Pedro said his grandmother and grandfather was, will always be there for him, even in spiritual form. Pedro knew that. He had his mother's ability to sex spirits in the, in the spiritual form at a young age. So I smiled and watched his son interact with his grandmother. So he smiled again at Pedro, the real Pedro, the older Pedro, staying over his grandson as a guardian angel should. He watches his little grandson interacting with his lover and play with her, either for a three, three day old kid. So I smiled and whispered, You are going to be your grandfather. To Pedro, and Pedro smiled, knowing that he was always going to be there for his grandchildren. And the time passes. He watches Abella go back and play with the Pedro. I'm interact with him as a grandmother should. For three years, he was sure active in the mornings. At nights, he was dreaming a good dream. So I smiled and watched Pedro interact with his grandmother for the first time. Pedro loved his grandmother. He thought his grandmother was awesome and nothing bad about her. Pedro would love his little grandmother, Abella. He would do anything with his pay mom, pa, grandma, pay Abella. He loved how Abella would do anything for, play with him no matter what. So I smiled, reading about Pedro's mind. They went back to the gear, Bruno. You know, Pedro's going to love Abella too. Uh, his to what's all his love for Bella to tell you. I know you read his mind, said Bruno. Yeah, I was. To tell you. All right. I can tell you that. Said Bruno to tell you. I know you can. To tell you. You've been shown by.